Welcome to our video on the cladogram from vertebrates to mammals with Jenny, Kelby, and Jared. We will start with the common ancestor of the vertebrates, which have all the chordate characteristics, which are a notochord, post anal tail, dorsal hollow nerve cord, pharyngeal slits, and an endostyle or thyroid gland. The ancestors then split into the vertebrates, which display characteristics of a vertebral column, a well developed cranium with a distinct brain, neural crest cells, and an epidermal or ectodermal placodes. The first vertebrate is considered to be Hycoichthys, which was an agnifin or jawless, extinct fish-like creature. Hycoichthys then split to the conodonts. They are extinct but were abundant for over 300 million years. They are similar to lampreys, but they have teeth made of dentin and enamel, with no jaw, which they used for predation or scavenging. The conodonts then split into the nathostomes. These prehistoric fish were covered with bony plates for protection and also had the first appearance of a jaw, allowing them to be better predators. The nathostomes then split into the condorichthys. These have placoid scales, a cartilaginous skeleton, and are strong predators. Some modern day examples are sharks and rays. Next came osteichthys. They are the first with a skeleton made of bone, paired fins, scales made of bone, and undergo external fertilization. Some living examples are salmon and trout. Next came sarcooptygii, which had bones in their fins and a swim bladder and lungs that were both full of fat. Lungfish are included in this category and can use their lungs to breathe or their gills or a combination of both. A living example would be a colocanth. Next came Ripidistria, which are predators with a powerful bite and had some supporting elements as well as more developed limbs. They are all extinct, but an example would be Tiktaalik. Next came Labyrinthodonts, which are the first tetrapods with a removable neck, weight-bearing girdle, retained branchial arches, and teeth with dentin. They are the first on land and are all extinct. Labyrinthodonts split into modern-day amphibians and amniotes, which include reptiles, birds, and mammals. Amphibian's second gill pouch formed what is now known as the sapies bone in the middle ear, giving them a complex ear. The next clade is reptiles. Reptiles gained an extra embryonic membrane and more developed lungs. Both the pectoral and pelvic girdles became more developed for walking on land, and they gained a more developed neck and spine. Next came birds, which became well developed for flight by gaining a massive sternum or keel for flight muscle attachment. Other developments for flight include well-developed wings, a fused vertebrae and clavicle, modified hind limbs for takeoff and landing, and hollow bones, which decrease their weight and also help them increase their respiration efficiency. Finally, mammals, which are the first to have three bones in their middle ear to increase hearing abilities. They also gained hair or fur, mammary glands, and their red blood cells lack a nuclei, which allows for more hemoglobin to carry oxygen. We hope this video has helped you better understand the evolution of the first vertebrates to modern day mammals. Thanks for watching.